this is an ECC83 double triode vacuum tube. It's a good tube, I actually used it in an audio amplifier, but I was curious to see exactly how this thing was built and what's inside. But I wasn't going to break apart this tube, so I found this one. It's the same thing, also an ECC83, but this one got busted up a while back. So if you're curious to see exactly how this thing is built and what the internal structure of it is, then keep watching. So if you want to open up such a tube, what you will need to do is remove the glass. And you could use a hammer of course, but what I want to do today is just slowly grind it away using a small handheld drill with a diamond coated drill bit. Now for this it's important to use proper hand protection since if this glass shatters it's extremely thin and extremely sharp. So just be very careful when doing this. It's gotten quite dusty with all the glass, but we're making progress, slowly but surely. Yeah, that used to be attached. Yeah, we lost the pin, that used to be attached. Oh well, gotta continue. And I think we're done. We've performed the cut all around the tube. Now simply we can just hopefully slide off the remaining glass envelope without getting a cut or anything. So I decided to get a proper tool to disassemble this tube. And now we can simply slide out the internals from the old glass envelope. And this is basically what we're left with. The tube without the glass. Now on first inspection we can see the two triodes. It's these grays. So the gray parts are the anodes of the triodes. We've got the filament in the middle, and then these two spikes sticking out are the grid. On top of the tube we have the getter, and on the bottom we have all the connections leading to the outside pins. So next step will be to take apart one of these anodes and see exactly what's beneath them, how the grid and the filament and cathode and whatever look. So for that, again, we need another tool. This time it will be a simple screwdriver. So if we look closely at this tube, we will see that the anode, the two pieces of the anode were clipped together through these slots. And we have on this side, these bent in clips. So to take it apart, what I'll what I'll have to do is just unbend these. And now I can just pry these things open. And with a bit of encouragement, the anode is slowly starting to come apart. Now, I didn't get quite the result that I wanted, but now we can see the structure of the internal grid. The grid being all these little thin wires going between the two shiny metal pins. And the cathode is the white uh, wire in the middle. The filament, if we would take the cathode apart, is actually inside this metal tube. 
we can see it here on the bottom. So we have the two white wires, the filament, and then the cathode is only the external tube. Right next to it we have the grid, connected through this wire, goes directly outside, and then we got the anode. And the same structure can be found on the other side, where I didn't manage to break anything yet. Also a neat trick that they did with this tube was they connected the two filaments in series. So we can either supply this tube with 12.6 volts, both filaments at the same time, or each filament individually at 6.3. Also since we don't have this clip anymore we can also remove this other clip and completely take off this upper isolator. This is actually what's holding the entire tube together. And now we can see all the three pieces. So the anode, the grid and the cathode. Now since on this side the cathode started to fall apart, we can completely remove it. And we may see that the filament has still been left behind inside in there. And the grid is complete, it's a complete different structure. Now the last thing we can do is take this thing completely apart. So for that I will cut off all the pins and then try to disassemble one of the tubes, one of the triodes to see exactly what are the component parts. So I removed the base, this is what I'm left with, see the bottom spacer here and the remaining connections. So now the anode doesn't come off yet. Just remove everything else before removing the anode. There we go. So the anode is off. So is the grid. It's bent a bit, but it's out. And basically these are the parts of the vacuum tube. We got the anode, the grid, the cathode and then inside the cathode is this tiny little wire, the filament. Kind of broke apart but there you have it. Hope you got some useful information out of this, leave your thoughts in the comments and see you next time. Bye bye. Thank you.